Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to show you this new deck that I actually just made today. I printed it off of Gallica for free and I made it today. So just to encourage you, you can make your own Lenormand deck. Um, you just need some good card stock. So if you have like old postcards or something lying around or old folders or something and a good, you know, a good printer with color with a color cartridge or if you if you want you can print it in black and white as well and you can even color it if you like or leave it and a good glue stick you you want to avoid using liquid glue liquid glue will warp your cards it'll make them I'll show you what I mean I have I have this deck here and it totally liquid glue actually I used Mod Podge on the front to make it shiny and the Mod Podge is the same as liquid glue pretty much it totally warps your cards there's nothing I can do I even put it under paperweights and you know it, it just warps it doesn't go away so you definitely want to use something like this which is a very dry glue stick you can use regular glue sticks it can work but it's still almost a little bit too damp. You want to use, I, I would suggest this. Um, so yeah, this is the Davaloy Lenormand. And it's from 1860. And it's available on the Gallica website for free. There's actually quite a few different um, decks on there. Ancient decks. And... Um, you know, everything's in French, but that's okay because you're just basically looking at the main image. If you know Lenormand, you'll know that number 13 means child. So, I mean, it's it's pretty easy. You just have to look at the picture to know what it means. Um, just very, very vintage, very beautiful and ancient. Like, it's <clears throat> over 100 years old. Well, it would be... 160 years old if if I know my math correctly 161 years old so these come with um, a border I wish I could show you um, just a, a regular white border which I trimmed off I was going to leave it on but um, the photocopies on the website are not uniform, like with the borders, because I think they photocopied a really, really old, distressed deck. So the borders aren't uniform. So I needed that uniformity. So I had to, there were, um, the square in the middle, uh, was uniform. And so I trimmed, I used that as a guideline. If you're handier with technology, you could probably fix that, you know? This is Crossroads right here, Chemins, Chemins, I don't know how to say it in French. And here, the only thing I don't like is the, the fish are not very clear. They're kind of grainy looking. That, that wasn't my printer, that is the actual original, but uh, that's okay. I'm just really quite pleased with how this turned out. And I even printed the backs. So these are the original backs, whoops, and um, it is really quite easy. It just takes a couple hours to complete a deck, so you can do this in an afternoon and make your own deck, and there you go. It, it will work just the same as uh, a store-bought deck. 